Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can dive deep into Android application source code to find vulnerabilities. We are going to look for the top 10 vulnerabilities in our Android mobile application. So before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video on Android penetration testing in which I have shown you that how we can find some hard coded credential in Android application by doing code reviews then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And also for those who are the first visitor of our channel and who don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then you are missing a lot. Just go and type bepractical.tech in your browser like I'm showing right over here. Just go and type bepractical.tech. Let me just open my browser real quick. There it is. Let me just show you the website. Just go and type bepractical.tech. Hit enter, just wait for a few seconds, and then you'll see that we have this awesome website running for you guys where we are providing free labs that you can use to test your skill of account takeover vulnerabilities. So we currently have around 10 labs that you can use to improve your cybersecurity and pen testing skills. And all these labs are based on real world scenario. Just you can go and type this, click on this lab like this, and you'll be redirected to this lab and you can just practice your hacking skill over here. Right. Apart from that, we also have some blogs like we are currently updating it. Like, let me show you. As you can see, we have some blogs over here like race conditions, like SQL injection and all. Right. So if you are interested, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description. And now with that being said, let's get started. So first thing first, what we are going to do is we're going to use the previous Android application that we have used in the previous video to show you an another vulnerability in android mobile application so one of the common android vulnerability is known as insecure logging or monitoring right so as the name suggests it means that the attack uh, that the uh, developers often you know store some confidential information in Android logs, right? So logs should be supposed to store some data like how the application is working, right? What are the errors that we are getting? But if they are storing any sensitive information, then it will be a big issue. For example, let's say there is an application, an e-commerce application, right? In that application, we have an option to add our credit card uh, details, right? Now, if there is some issues, then the developer maybe in the development time is uh, logging the, the credit card details uh, on the console, right? So it's just checking the logs for the development process, right? But it could be possible that they, they forgot in the uh, release uh, version of that particular application. So if an attacker find this vulnerability on this application, then they will be able to get credit card information from the logs. And I'm going to show you how, right? But first, let's try to understand this, how we can find this particular vulnerability, right? So let me just open my terminal over here, right over here. Let me just go to the insecure shop, this particular file, which I already have compiled, right? Let me just go to this one. And this is actually the uh, decompiled version of this application, which I have decompiled using uh, APK tools, right? So we are not going to look into that. What we are, we are interested in is in this jar file, right? So let me just open this so we can use JDGUI insecure shop dex to jar dot right? Let me just open it. It's going to take some time. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see here, we are. Let's go to the insecure shop. This one. Let's see it in the broader way and here you can see we have a bunch of classes right so each of the class is actually representing an activity and activity is nothing but the graphical user interface of that particular android application right so we have this login activity which means there is a login gui right so i already have mentioned all of these in my previous android penetration testing video right so please go ahead and check it out so let's click on this right let's try to see whether there's any uh logging going on right and then we're going to identify what are the logs that are getting stored so first of all in this uh, class file we have this bunch of code let's try to see all the functions we have this on login function we have on create function right we have a uh, set m binding function right so tell me what do you think which function is you know more interesting right so if it is a login activity class right then it will potentially have a login form right which means that this on login uh, 
uh, function right over here is basically checking whether the provided credential is right or wrong right from instincts we can say that now let's try to go deep into this uh, function and let's try to see what is happening over here right if you see we have this edit username so if we go over here we'll see that this is something going on right and then here as you'll see we have this get text method right get text is method is basically used to you know get the value from that particular input field if you have used uh, java then you are fam you should be familiar with this now we have this password this in the similar way we have this uh, get text so it's getting the uh, password from the password field and then what it is doing right over here as you can see so before checking whether the password is right or wrong over here it is checking whether uh, sorry it is just logging the username and password right on the console so if you google log d for example let's google this right away like uh, what is the use of log.d then we'll see that let's go over here see this log d use this for debugging purpose right so if you want to print out bunch of messages then we can use log.d right now from this uh, little bit of google we have understood that there is this purpose of uh, there is logging going on and the potential thing that is getting stored in the log is str1 so if you go a little above here you'll see that there is this str1 which is storing the username and then there is str2 which is storing the password right so this is getting stored in the log or this is what is logging out on the console right so we have identified a potential vulnerability now if the logging is actually insecure which means that the password should not be in plain text right so if you, even if you are logging something then it should be you know either the uh, sensitive things should not be logged in the uh, console or you should have used some kind of encryption right so here as you can see the value is just getting stored in str2 and it's just getting printed out similar with the str1 case right which means that there is insecure logging going on right and now we have identified the vulnerability right i think i hope that you have understood that how this is vulnerable to insecure logging let's try to see how it will actually work in the real life android application let's try to install this application on an emulator and let's see how it is storing the logs so as you can see right over here i have opened the insecure shop application using this nox player right so if you are also interested to install nox player then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description right now let's try to verify that whether these things in particular this email and this password are getting logged out or not right so what we can do now is we can just open the directory where we have installed this nox player for example in my case i have installed this in this local drive d and here you see we have this adb.exe right so i can just go and open a partial here and just type adb.exe and then i can type devices right and as you can see right over here if you have opened this application then you'll see this uh, attached device right now we are good to go and now everything should work fine let's try to clear this and then let's type adb.exe log cat right and as you can see everything that is getting logged will be shown over here right now let's say i type any random email and password like practical and the password is let's say batman123 let's click on login as you can see it is saying that invalid username and password right let's try to see whether we have got this or not and as you can see right over here you see that we have successfully got the username and the password of this application using this log vulnerability right so this is what i mean by that insecure logging and monitoring in this particular application right i hope that you have understood it now the thing is the username and password is showing in plain text right now it can be used to do some more malicious stuff right for example let's say that there is the log going on right so in case you'll see that if we provide the right password even if we provide the wrong password right both of these things are getting logged right now if we imagine the same scenario in credit card details like in an e-commerce application 
example that i have mentioned before right in that case it's it will become a lot more critical right even now it's very critical right since we are getting the credential in this application right so this is the impact and demonstration of insecure logging and monitoring one of the common vulnerabilities often found in android applications i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security and web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently learning two courses the first one is hacking windows with python where you're going to learn that how we can create our own custom malware that can use to hack any windows machine we'll create our own custom malware using python that will be able to execute system commands uh, access webcams and a lot of cool stuff right the second course which i am running is known as bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where you are going to learn that how hackers can actually dive deep into the application to find misconfiguration that will ultimately result in taking over anyone's account right so all of these things are practically demonstrated so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the links are also given in the description and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching